743, we're back, fired up. If you're just waking up, getting your morning started, these three will help your sports morning get started this September. Jim Cebulski, Myra Lawrence, Steve Darling, the brand new morning personalities for Sportsnet 650. Big round of applause here in the studio. You've got a big entourage this morning. <laughs> Team. Well, That's this right. is this is a new era for sports. You know, this is a hockey city. There's so much to celebrate. But how is this truly going to be different for the average sports fan out there looking for something new? Well, well I think we're going to be. Well, I, th I think our. Uh, our uh, program director just said, you know, we have a three-person team, which is going to be neat and unique on the morning show, and uh, we're going to be a three-headed monster. So I'm going to be the person in between these two uh, fine gentlemen that are well-known in this market, and we're going to provide a lot of fun, as James said. You know, the morning commute can be a little bit of a grind, but who wants to wake up grumpy? Nobody. No. So we're and gridlock gonna... keeps us all employed. Thank right. you. Right? <laughs> yeah. right? I'm sorry. You so might complain about changes. getting through the Massey yeah. Tunnel yeah. or yeah. getting over the port, man, but honestly, like, gridlock, that's what we call a captive audience. That's right. Video. You're stuck with us. And I, I think also it's going to be uh, it's going to be a lot of fun because you know I can't tell you how many times you know you finish your show and then you sit around and talk about issues whether it be you know sports and, and not necessarily just sports a lot of other things that mm -hmm. are people's lives as well. So that's what we want to bring to it is really uh, um, basically what people saw me doing for 15 years I'm going to do with two new friends and so we're going to have an opportunity to talk about a lot of different issues and 95 percent of it's going to be sports based which is going to be a lot of fun because we want people to in it be part of the conversation mm -hmm. as well. And, and that's you're not going to teach us how to cook this time. No, right? like, I mean, I've no I learned my lesson no. about that. Yeah, yes, it didn't that, look like you could cook. All no, that not much. at all. That's 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 the magic of television. <laughs> that's how it works. So, but it's going to be. A, I'm really looking forward to the opportunity. And you know, I my career began in radio, mm -hmm. so I'm sort of coming back. And and it's been it's been a lot of fun so far. I mean, getting to meet these guys. We had a, our dinner last night, which was a lot of fun. And we we met at six o'clock, and and by like nine o'clock, we're still chatting away. So. Right. That's the kind of conversation we want to have with people in the morning, and I think that's what people are looking for. Well, it's a big part of the combination, Myra, for you. I mean, we are uh, inclusive of the entire province to have your island presence, and you lean local. And for those local teams, local athletes out there that are hoping for coverage, what are we going to see with that voice on, the, on a show like this? Yeah, I think that that's where my strength lies, definitely in the grassroots and the up-and-comers. So I'm going to bring that element to the uh, to the show as well. Um, my career has been, say, covering the Jamie Benz and the Tyson Berries and those guys when they've started out in the junior Name hockey uh, and yeah <laughs> very good friends of mine too That's by the right. way but you know being able to cover those guys and knowing that aspect of you know what it, what's going through the athlete's mind at that level as well too and be able to you know when they're grooming and those types of things so so that's what I'm going to bring to the show and I think I think also it's also it's a it's a grassroots level as well when you start a new a new radio station mm -hmm. is we want to make sure that that we're trying to cover the pro teams which get covered a lot but there's also other great stories out there that need to be told as well and and that's why at times you'll find us at, at the you know, I live in Port Coquitlam you'll find us at Gates Park right. and finding a story there like that's the kind of uh, kind of things I think we need to to do a little bit more of is mm -hmm. talk about those kind of issues we'll have the Canucks on the station mm -hmm. the Blue Jays yeah, how much cool. WWE content by the way uh, you know that's a good question Rogers is a partner Ooh. with WWE, so it may come up. But I'm told that uh, Mr. Sportsnet 650 is not the biggest wrestling fan, but I might find a way to I think cut through the red tape right. and drop a, a little Shinsuke Nakamura every once in a while. Oh, there we go. He actually <laughs> dropped a little wrestling last night at dinner. He did the he did, did a little Degeneration X yes, for us. Oh, I've yeah. got kids. I do not want to promote crotch chops uh, yeah. Yeah, right. before 8 o'clock right. for that matter. Is Hulk so he has my, or is that different? Right. <laughs> he's still just reaping the benefits of a gawker settlement, oh, right. right? Of course, so, yes. Thank you for, for, for looking out for us right there. Uh, quick Canuck talk. Uh, a yeah. really fascinating video with Jim Benning popped up at the NHL draft. He was mic'd up. A lot of moves have been made. What do you three see as the future of the Canucks? Fans want to be hopeful about this mm -hmm. team. What's your gut reaction going into next season? I really like what the, uh, the, the past weekend showed because you signed useful veterans that guys who can step in and play, but it doesn't take away from the long-term vision, right? You create you create depth, you create competition. The longest term you've committed to is Sam Gagne with three years. Right. Del Zotto is cheaper than Spies as a replacement and an offensive upgrade. Yes. So I think they've improved themselves in some areas. Look, are they a playoff team next year at this point? Probably no. not. But 
They allow breathing room for a guy like Jake Vertanen. You don't have to just give him a spot. He's going to have to earn it, just like Ole Levy as well. That's what yeah. I like. And there's I, good prospects there, right, too? So there's something to be excited about, about the future, mm -hmm. the future of the franchise. I was at a golf tournament and uh, during the draft, the NHL draft, and, and when they drafted Pedersen, everyone's like, oh, my God, this like why would they go with this guy? And then when you start to unravel how things go in his relationship with Darlene and how those two have played together and they're good friends, mm -hmm. and, and so I think that... that you know, with draft picks, you have to give them time. And I think you're right, James, with the, with the signings that they did on free agency day, it gives them an opportunity to have a little bit of breathing room because the worst thing you can do with a draft pick is try to push them in the lineup if they're not ready yet. I mean, we've seen that happen in, in Vancouver, even with the Sedins. I mean, we've seen right. they came to, they were, they were here and they weren't quite ready to be mm -hmm. in the NHL and, and they had the pains of that. Peter Nedvez, another example mm -hmm. from, from years ago. So. We're just getting a See, sample of what's right? going to happen this right. September. Right. Chemistry. It's right, right there. Uh, <laughs> Deb, got to bring this in. Uh, oh. so Sportsnet 650, the big debut is September? Yes, yes. Labor, Day. Yeah. Uh, Labor Day. Labor Day Monday. You, well, you've been drafted to the team. Oh. Here you go. Wow, look at that. There yes. you go. You can pop that on. There I told go. them I'd be drafted one day. <laughs> Usually it's you come true. Usually it's just my Simon's hockey team, but no, look at this. I Here's the future. Pass, I wouldn't cry. Yeah, so <laughs> Here's the future. Saying, he's probably going to get my nice. butt kicked now here. Right? In you could, you could put her name on it. Congrats to you three. Hey, we'll work on it. No okay, name. They couldn't spell <laughs> darling. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a break. Watch this coming up.